My name is Scott. I'm making this to suggest that you read books that psychiatrist Thomas Saws wrote. Thomas Saws was a psychiatrist who died at the age of, I believe, 92 in the year 2012. And uh, he wrote, I think, roughly about 35 or 36 books. He co-founded the Citizens Commission on Human Rights. There's plenty of videos available of him online that show him expounding, sharing his ideas. Some of his books, his most famous book is probably The Myth of Mental Illness. His other books include Psychiatric Slavery, Our Right to Drugs, The Case for, for a Free Market, Psychiatry, The Science of Lies, Insanity, The Idea and Its Consequences, Fatal Freedom, The Ethics and Politics of Suicide, Suicide Prohibition, The Shame of Medicine. He is somewhat controversial. So I first studied some of his ideas at Portland State University as an undergraduate student. We, we read the essay, The Myth of Mental Illness. I believe it was, it was a class called Gender and Madness. I'm pretty sure that was it. And the name of the class, I know we read the uh, essay and talked about it and, you know, wrote a paper on it or something. This was quite a few years ago now. Um, but I've uh, studied his work on my own after graduate school at Pacific University. We saw a debate um, between Thomas Saws and Albert Ellis. It was quite interesting. And I'm suggesting that you read some of the books he wrote. And the books I listed before is just, I listed what I listed about five or six. So that's five or six of the 30-something books that he wrote. Uh, you can go to a library and check them out. You can buy them at a used bookstore. You can buy them online. Uh, probably going to a library is not a bad option if they're available there. And I know Portland State has a lot of his books available. Um, I think he published his last one in around 2011, roughly, at the age of, what, 89 or 91. So I, th I think that's pretty impressive and prolific. He advocates banning the insanity defense and outlawing civil, commi outlawing civil commitment and uh, promotes the idea that um, our drug laws are unjust. Um, in the book that I mentioned, our right, our right to Drugs, The Case for a Free Market, he expounds what I believe he is labeled as libertarian psychology. And if not, if he didn't label it, well, I just made that up. But I think that's basically what he's talking about. Mm. So anyway, I'll end it there. This is, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch my other videos, visit my websites, and have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be.